Hi friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about the basics of HTML like what is a HTML, what is the use of HTML, why it is called as markup language, what is the history beyond HTML, what is the current version we are using and then I will discuss few concepts related to HTML like tag element and attribute so i sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding first let me discuss what is the full form of html the html full form is hypertext markup language the html is used to design web pages using a markup language as i said earlier html is a markup language it is used to design web pages i think you can see if you go to any website suppose if i say a website called http pernika tutorials dot in every website consists of several web pages like you can see home page about us courses like that various web pages are there all these web pages can be designed using the html i can also say html is used by the browser to manipulate text images and other content in order to display it in the required format because in a web page several information will be there all this information you want to display in a proper format if you want to display in a proper format then html is useful for you html was created by tim berners lee in 1991 so in 1991 Tim Berners-Lee was invented this HTML. The HTML 1.0 has been released in 1993. However, the first standard version which is HTML 2.0 is published in 1995. Then HTML 3 was published in 1997. HTML 4 was published in 1999. HTML 4.01 has been published in 2002 now the version which we are using which is html5 has been published in 2014 i can say html is the combination of hypertext and markup language if you see html is what hypertext markup language so i can say it is the combination of hypertext and markup language the hypertext defines the link between web pages because a website is a consists of several web pages each web page you can design using the html so hypertext is defines the link between various web pages from the one web page if you want to go for another web page that reference will be defined with the help of hypertext whereas a markup language is used to define the text document within the tag which defines the structure of a web page so the markup language is useful for you to define the structure of a web page it consists of tags so any language which contains only tags are called as markup language you can ask me sir what is the difference between a programming language and a markup language programming language consists of operators data types variables etc when it comes to the markup language it consists of only the tags now let me discuss what is the meaning of a tag because we said a markup language which contains only tags so anything which you kept between the angular brackets is called as a tag so you will have the angular brackets anything if you keep in between this angular brackets then we will call it as a tag suppose if i say h1 i kept between the angular brackets now i can say this is a tag similarly i can keep img between the angular brackets now i can say this is a tag similarly i can keep br within the angular brackets this one also i can say a tag so anything which you kept between the angular brackets is called as a tag there are various markup languages like xml sgml wml so all these are the markup language which contains only the tags now let me discuss about element 
anything between open tag and closed tag is called as an element so if you keep between an open tag and a closed tag that component we will call it as an element now i have discussed what is a tag anything you kept between the angular brackets is called as a tag now this one i can call it as a open tag now what is a closed tag i can keep backslash and then the tag which is between the angular brackets now i can say this is a closed tag so if you keep anything between the open tag and a closed tag is called as an element suppose if i keep a name now i can say name is an element similarly i will keep a open tag as p and then i will keep something called pernica tutorials and i will provide a closed tag so i have a open tag and i have a closed tag in between that there is an element called pernica tutorial so anything which has been kept between the open tag and closed tag is called as an element now let me discuss about an attribute all html elements can have an attribute what is an element anything which you kept between the open brackets and the closed brackets is called as an element now an attribute provides additional information about the elements attributes are always specified in the open tag or i can say in the start tag attributes usually come in name value pairs like name is equal to some value so what is the purpose of an attribute attribute provides additional information about the elements and always that attribute will be kept in the open tag and an attribute is comes in the pair of name and value now let me discuss few examples related to the attributes we have href attribute and also src attribute the href attribute specifies the url of the page the link goes to we have discussed that html is a combination of hyper long ways and also markup long ways the hyper long ways is used to provide the link between various web pages so we can have the link between various web pages like from web page one if i want to go to the web page two i can provide the link that link i can provide using a tag called a tag so this a tag defines the hyperlink so for this tag we can provide an an attribute called href which specifies the url of the page the link goes to so i can give a simple example we have a tag called a which is used to define the hyperlink now i need to provide that link right so i can write using the attribute called href now let me provide the link here i will write http pernica tutorials dot in then i will write visit pernica tutorials for csc courses and then i will provide the close tag so what is an element anything which you kept between the open tag and the closed tag here i have provided the open tag and here i have provided the closed tag what is an attribute attribute provides additional information about an element so this attribute is useful for you to provide the specification of the url of the page the link goes to suppose if i want to click on visit pernica tutorials for csc courses then it should go to pernica tutorials right so that's why i have provided this link once you click on this text then it will go to this web page so this is the use of an href attribute similarly we have another attribute called src attribute we have a tag called img tag which is used to embed an image in an html page what is an html page html page consists of text images all of them are provided in a specified format so in any web page if you want to keep an image you can use a tag called img now i need to provide the url or the link of the image where it is there right so that 
information I can provide using an attribute called src. Suppose if I say that image is there in the C drive desktop p1.png. So that p1.png image is there in the C drive some users desktop. So I need to provide the their link where the image is there. So then this image will be displayed on the web page. So with these examples I hope you have understood about an attribute. With this video I hope it is very clear for you what is an HTML, why it is called as a markup language, what is a markup language, what is the history behind the HTML, all these concepts I hope it is clear for you. In the next video I will discuss about the a structure of any HTML program. Still, if you have any doubts related to these concepts, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.